Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the research paper writing. Today we will discuss about how you can write your good abstract for your paper. My, what is the structure of this uh, lecture is we will see firstly what is the abstract, what is the purpose of the abstract, when you will are able to write the abstract and how you can write the things. And the most important thing is which which words or which thing you can avoid in the abstract. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute. So what is an abstract is there? Uh, the firstly abstract is a very short or brief summary of your paper, whether it's a published or it's a unpublished. And it is mostly of the 150 to 250 word, words are there. Or you can say maximum of six to seven sentences are there. What they basically provide you, what is the purpose or importance of this? So it will provides the reader a quick overview of your paper so that a reader can exactly know what the paper is about. Make sure that uh, it also express your central idea and your key points of your work. Make sure in the abstract you should express your central idea and your key points. It also suggests to the readers that what is your implications of the research whatever you have discussed in your paper. And as I suggested that it is a short brief or a short summary of your entire paper. So that's why it is there. Now, uh, a well-written abstract will serve the following purposes. What is the purpose of that? First of all, the function of the abstract is to describe. Main thing is that this is the most important thing is to describe, not to evaluate or defend the paper. Whatever you have written in your research paper, that only to describe the things in the abstract, not to evaluate. Another thing is whenever you want to try to write the, thesis, uh, write the abstract, you have to think work on the four, four things. Firstly, you should write the brief about the key findings about the statement of your papers or the problem followed by your description or whatever the method you have used followed by the major findings of the results and finally what is the conclusion you reach on the paper these are the four steps which you have to follow after that you should write the major keywords which are referring to your approach what is the advantages of the keywords in writing in the abstract so that will facilitate to assess the computer search that will enables the reader or you can see the reader will decide whether to read, uh, read the entire dissertations or paper or whatever if you have write the thesis or not. Make sure that these are the major purposes of the abstract. When you are writing the dissertation or the thesis, you have to write the abstract on the separate page. And it should be placed after the title page and before the table of content. You can see this is my table of content. It should be placed either after the acknowledgement or before the acknowledgement, but it should be before the table of content. Now the question arises is when you can write the abstract. As per my experience, abstract should be written at the end of the paper. Firstly, you have to write your introduction, results, conclusion and so on. You should abstract should be written at the end of the paper. Why? Because it is completely independent and the self-contained text. How? We will see. Now, how you can write the abstract? We will describe this AMRC techniques that I describe the AMRC techniques. What is the A? Is the aim, method, research and the conclusion. So let's discuss one by one what is the objective of this AMRC. Once you are writing the object uh, abstract, then if you what is the contribution of the object abstract in the aim method and so on if you divide the whole abstract into the hundred percentage then the purpose of this aim is to define the research objectives and the problem and it should be have of the if if your abstract is of the 10 lines then the uh, this aim will be lights in the 2 or 2.5 lines are there after that methods in which what you did you have to write that it again consists of the 25 percentage contribution what you found that is a major portion of the results that consists of the 35 percentage are there and the remaining what is the conclusion you have obtained that's the implication of the result that consists of the 15 percentage now let's discuss one by one so firstly discuss what is the aim of this what you can write in your aim so start the abstract by clearly defining the purposes of your research why you start you choose this topic uh, while writing the research paper that is what practical and the theoretical problem does the res research respond and what research question you basically aim to answer in your research paper that you should write in your research in the first line of the abstract. After identifying the problem, you have to state the objective of your research. And then 
you have to use the word like investigates, test, analyze, evaluates to describing uh, uh, the aims of your research. Make sure that you have to write your this line in the terms of either the present or the past tense. Why? Because the, this work is not referred to the future as its work is already done. For example, if you write like this way, so what is the meaning of that? This sentence will represent for the future task but which is a wrong sentence. Why? Because I suggested it is a writing the present or the past tenses are there. So what is the correct form of this? So this study investigates the relation between the coffee consumption and the product. That's the aim of your research paper. So this is the first line of your abstract is there. What is the purpose of the method is there? So this indicates the whatever the you have proposed the method to answer your question. What is the question is? This is my question. How you can eval evaluate them? You have to use some methods. So that method you can write in your next line. So this part should be the straightforward description. What you did in one or two sentences are there. Make sure that it should be the straightforward. It is simply written in the past tense. Why? Because you already completed the results and then that's why the action is completed. Like here. The structure interval will be conducted on the 25 participants. So this will be the future task. That's a wrong statement. So the right one is there. The structural interview were conducted on the 25 participants. So make sure that uh, uh, this, this second part does not evaluate the validity are there. The goal is to just simply strengthen the methodology as well as their weaknesses are. They are not defining their weaknesses and the strengths. So make sure that uh, the reader will quickly overview about your approaches. Third one is the results. So that will summarize your main research, whatever you have produced. Like it depending on how long and the complex your research, but you may not be able to include all the results here. Make sure that because try to highlight only the most important findings that will allow the reader to understand your conclusion. Nobody will care about that, whatever you have obtained, but major finding you have to write that. You should write this in terms of the present or the past tense. For example, if I say this has shown this is not the correct answers. So you have to return either of these forms, whether you have tried in the present form or in the past form. So they, that are the two correct. So that's the conclusion. That's the overview results of that. That's a correlation between them. Major thing is that the finally you have to write the conclusion of your research in the abstract. So what is your answer to the problem or the question? So in this example, we see our, uh, our question is the uh, correlation between the coffee and its productivity. So you have to write the conclusion with respect to them. The reader should finish with a clear understanding of the central point that your research has proved or argued. Whatever you have started your first line of the abstract, it must match with their conclusion part B. So conclusions are usually written in the form of present simple present tense are for example if you write like this way we concluded that's a wrong statement because this is a past tense so we conclude that because this is the ongoing sentence remember if you are if if uh, some limitations are there in your method you can write of them but should you should write in a briefly manner like of this sample size you have used and so on so this will allow the reader to accurately assess the credibility and the generalization of your research how, which thing you can avoid in the abstract? So since abstract is very limited to the 150 or the 200 words or the maximum to the 300 words. So uh, combining all those A, M, R, C techniques into this 250 words is a very challenging task. But we should keep in mind that which things you can avoid so that uh, while writing the job is much easier. So first of all, you have to avoid your lengthy background information. Why? Because here the reader are interested to learn what is your contribution, not what is the previous work of the researchers. Also try to avoid the citation in the abstract. Try to avoid the laboratory experiments details like we will did uh, the MATLAB are there. We will use the 2020 MATLABs. We will use this version of the SPSS software. We will use this components of uh, in the chemistry lab and so on. So there is try to avoid the detail of the routine procedures be detail try to avoid the statistical method of the software used in the abstract you can write this in in the 
results and discussion section uh, you can write if this is the major focus of your study you have to try to avoid the abbreviations or the acronyms in your abstract always try to avoid the abbreviations and finally results and their interpretations are not be discussed in the text start that's a major things you can avoid so that it will help you to write the abstract within a 200 to the 250 type words in a very concise manner remember your technique is abstract aim method results and the conclusion so this is all about how you can write your abstracts in a very simple manner if you want to find some another things like what is the difference how you export your publications from the google scholar what is the difference how you can export the references and many more are there what is the identification export the literature from this and other are there how you can difference between the reference all you can find in the playlist here channel name is dr harish gar till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various video best of luck student happy learning